Section 22 of Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Patty Cunningham. Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6, by Julian Hawthorne, Editor. Section 22. Another Solomon from the Chinese. At Tai Yuan there lived a middle-aged woman with her widowed daughter-in-law. The former was on terms of too great intimacy with a notably bad character of the neighborhood, and the daughter, who objected very strongly to this, did her best to keep the man from the house. The elder woman accordingly tried to send the other back to her family, but she would not go, and at length things came to such a pass that the mother-in-law actually went to the mandarin of the place and charged her daughter-in-law with the offense she herself was committing when the mandarin inquired the name of the man concerned she said she had only seen him in the dark and didn't know who he was referring him for information to the accused the latter on being summoned gave the man's name but retorted the charge on her mother-in-law and when the man was confronted with them, he promptly declared both their stories to be false. The Mandarin, however, said there was a prima facie case against him, and ordered him to be severely beaten, whereupon he confessed that it was the daughter-in-law whom he went to visit. This the woman herself flatly denied, even under torture, and on being released, appealed to a higher court with a very similar result. Thus the case dragged on, until a Mr. Sun, who was well known for his judicial acumen, was appointed district magistrate at that place. Calling the parties before him, he bade his lictors prepare stones and knives, at which they were much exercised in their minds, the severest tortures allowed by law being merely gyves and fetters. However, everything was got ready, and the next day Mr. Sun proceeded with his investigation. After hearing all that each one of the three had to say, he delivered the following judgment. The case is a simple one, for although I cannot say which of you two women is the guilty one, there is no doubt about the man who has evidently been the means of bringing discredit on a virtuous family. Take those stones and knives there and put him to death. I will be responsible. Thereupon the two women began to stone the man especially the younger one who seized the biggest stone she could see and threw them at him with all the might of her pent-up anger while the mother-in-law chose small stones and struck him on non-vital parts so with the knives the daughter-in-law would have killed him at the first blow had not the mandarin stopped her and said hold i now know who is the guilty woman the mother-in-law was then tortured until she confessed and the case was thus terminated End of section 22. Recording by Patty Cunningham.